So here I am in another big mess. The woods around here are just full of them. And I passed a bunch by getting up here thinking they were stra just a straggler or two. But as it turns out, there's actually a lot of them. And uh, I really didn't want to just leave them behind me coming up to Louisville. I wanted to try to call as many as I could, so I stopped. And now I'm not so sure whether I'm going to regret this or not. We're just going to have to see. I left the truck behind me. Right there, there's the truck because I don't want them to surround it. And I may be backing into more danger, and as you can see, several of them are already starting to come from the woods. But what I'm trying to do is pick off the outliers because there's just too many of them to take at once. And this is why I like being outdoors for this sort of thing. Oh, I just got three with one hit. I'll take it. I had a baseball bat to start with in this particular game, and unfortunately it broke very early, and that left me without a weapon, and I got very lucky and found the truck, and the truck was right near the construction site where there was a sledgehammer and a pickaxe. So... I decided to head straight up to Louisville since I can get through the checkpoint. And as you can see, the roads to Louisville are heavily populated at this point. I actually upped my difficulty setting a bit because I wanted to test to see how I could do. I, I still can't do survivor mode, but... Uh, I'm finding that I can do more and more, and the practice at doing more and more is helping me. I'm getting steadily better, so I wanted to see how I would do uh, in a game with with a standard low setting. I usually do a custom game, and I still do a custom game um, insofar as, you know, how many points my character gets, how long the day is, that sort of thing. But, um, I left the zombies at low spawn and the standard settings for low. And then I customized the zombies in difficulty because I personally don't think zombies would be very bright. I also don't think they would be, that there would be a lot of them that would be fast or a lot of them that would have... You know, a lot of memory about when was the last time somebody walked by. I just don't see that as being common among zombies. They're going to decay and their brain power is going to become worse and worse, I would imagine. So I just thought, you know, I tend to like my zombies stupider and slower because I think that's how they should be. Now, as you can see, I'm increasing my difficulty level in terms of numbers of zombies and the uh, difficulty in the fight. So I may get to a point where this is all too easy for me and I decide I'm going to, you know, increase the zombie difficulty as well, simply because I get bored. And that's one of the things that I love about this game is it's very replayable. You can start on the easy setting and just keep ramping up. And it's a different experience every time. And it's fun. So, oh, excellent. This is exactly what we needed. Perfect. 
Okay, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to end this here because this was kind of an unintentional video. When I saw all of these guys, I thought, wow, that's a lot of zombies. I want to get rid of them. I don't know if I'll be able to. And I drove up some and there was another cluster up here and I had passed several behind me. So this became a big mess very quickly. And I thought I'd catch it on film in case I managed to do it. Or even if I didn't manage to do it, maybe I would have learned something important. I don't know. So... But it uh, looks like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. It looks like at least 27 in this cluster. I, I don't know. Uh, it's hard to tell because they stack on top of one another sometimes. So, you know, each of these little clusters could be a whole bunch. Um, there's at least two here. There's four in this radius here. Then there's another, you know, they could be five. There could be overlap. It can be difficult to tell. So, but still, I think that's probably the biggest group that I've managed to take out. I don't think I would manage it inside a mall. I think the reason it worked was because I was outside. But maybe someday we'll test that theory and see how that goes. You guys have a great evening. Take care.